Okay. Well, I guess I'll let them introduce it real quick. Lords of the Realm 2. There you go. And... Welcome to Lords of the Realm 2. What he said. I am Mysterian, and you did not get to see the intro video, because if you push any key, including Shift, or Scroll Lock, or Caps Lock, it will skip it. Uh, and obviously I have to push some keys to activate fraps. So, there's going to be a link in the description to the introduction video. You should, like, go click on that and then come back here if you want to watch it. Uh, someone else recorded it and it's up on YouTube, so I'll just link to that. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to play Lords of the Realm 2. I'm going to start with the first scenario of the campaign and I don't know if I'm gonna keep recording these or just do that one we'll see how it goes uh, I'll probably do a few more just to show off because uh, there's only one noble in that campaign uh, I'll probably do a few more to show off the diplomacy options and the various AIs and stuff so Lords of Magic no Lords of the Realm 2 the siege is on because I have the siege back uh, that's probably supposed to play a video for Lords of Magic, but I don't know if it'll work. And, but we're not here for that, so whatever. You can play now, load a game, you can skirmish, which is doing just the combat of the game. You can set up a scenario, uh, you versus an AI in combat. Uh, and you can do a custom, uh, full, full match, custom built. Or, you can go into the original campaign. Or the new campaign. Please enter your name and select your shield. As you know, I am Mysterian, so who the hell is Lord Kaelin? Well, Kaelin is a name that I use uh, in games quite a lot, uh, but it turns out that it's a w name in the real world. I didn't know that when I invented it. It's probably pronounced Kaelin in the real world. I think it's Irish. But yeah, I invented it as Kaelin, and that's what it is for me. Anyway, and I'm a lord because, well, I'm trying to be king, and you can't be... Peasant Kaelin and go to be king. Okay, you could, because the game doesn't know what you titled yourself. Or if you titled yourself. Anyway, and I like the black shield here, so that makes no difference whatsoever. Let's go ahead. And again, I started on the right side. I've, I've played this scenario three times in the last couple of days. And I did attempt to record this, well, a couple of times actually. But my last attempt, I started on this side. But it actually play. But again, I'm on this side. Or whatever. Uh, Fraps has some issues with this game. Like when I open this screen right here, the FPS goes down to one. Which means that you may see me go in, p select an option, and exit in a single frame. Uh, I'm not gonna... I mean, I put that up there for a little bit right now. Just so you can see what it's doing. Uh, but, of course, you don't really know what that means yet. Unless you've played the game. In which case, you know all of this stuff already that I'm gonna say. Uh... He started off with a damaged field. Interesting. But yeah, these counties are pretty much the same, except if you start in this county, you can actually build an army and get it out of your county in a single turn. Oh well. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is turn off the game help if I haven't already. I have. I probably would have noticed that if I hadn't. I'm gonna leave the tooltips on because this... Look how useful that is. It tells you what will happen if you click the button. If you leave the uh, pointer over it for longer than it will take you to click the button and you find out what it health, does. Anyway, tooltips are awesome. All right, what are we doing here? What is this game? How does it work? Um, I start with a county, and I manage this county. Uh, I manage the food, the the what the populace does. I'll explain that screen in a minute. Uh, what I do with each of these fields, uh, what kind of work they perform, 
uh, how happy they are, and how much all they eat. Are fed by dairy, my lord. Right now, they're all apparently eating cheese. All of them are eating just cheese. That doesn't sound healthy, but okay. Um, now, if I spread out these cows by changing this field over to cattle, and again, it says one frame, so I'll leave it up for a couple of seconds. Uh, I'm going to switch it over to cows, and switch the next field over to cows. And now they'll spread out, and I can produce more cattle. Now, I hate cattle in this game. They consume all of my people. See? That's... This is uh, how you allocate the labor. You can also do it with this slider here, but as you can see, all you can allocate is towards food and farming, basically, even though it looks like bread and cheese. It's farming. And um, work, or produ production, I guess. Um, but yeah, my entire populace is in cattle. Which probably isn't a good idea. I think I'm actually... Yeah, I'm going to sell all my cattle. I'm also going to sell all my swords. All my bows. How did I... Why do I have swords and bows? Because I started with them. The game gave them to me. To buy these goods, my How much is this going to cost me? Uh, ale, all it does is raise your happiness. Happiness is good for raising your populace because you'll get more immigrants. Uh, I'm not paying attention. Take your population, round it down to the nearest multiple of 10, and divide it by 2, and that is how much ale it will take, or how much, how many crowns you have to spend on ale in order to raise your happiness by 5, which is the maximum you can raise it by per season with ale. And then, I'm going to buy a crap ton of grain. Goods, my lord. All of my money into grain. Because I don't want to spend my workforce on cattle. Now, grain can only be planted in winter. And I think I turned on... Oh, okay, I didn't get around to that. Uh, advanced farming makes it so that it's kind of realistic. You, need, you don't need very many people to plant it. But you need a whole lot of people to harvest it. And my entire population next autumn will be going towards uh, harvesting. As long as nothing goes wrong. Uh, and army foraging means that your armies will eat food. Uh, your armies and enemies' armies will eat food in whichever county they're in. Uh, exploration is... Let's see if it'll show me. Yeah, there you go. Exploration. I would probably do that, except I don't think it affects much, because, I mean, the map up here already shows that there's two counties up there, uh, and who owns them all. Also, I, uh, I guess you wouldn't be able to see what various people were doing in these counties. I don't think it'll do much to the AI, so I'm just going to leave it off. It just, uh, I don't... I've never really liked Fog of War. And that option, I think, makes it so that uh, battles with the computers are automatically resolved. Now, I'm only playing against the computer, so I don't want to do that. Especially since there's an option every time I fight the computer to let it auto-calculate the fight. And I may take advantage of that. Now, these blue things here mean that there are idle people. There's idle people... This one, uh, the blue outline here means there's idle people doing absolutely nothing. I mean, they're hanging out in the town square. And the blue one around here means there's guys that aren't doing anything in farming. So I'll put them in the town square too. Now, I have a population of 435, and from my own experience, I'm going to guess that I can do four fields of grain and harvest all of those in autumn. Um, actually not. I'll make it five. And 
are starving, my lord. No, they aren't. They will be starving if I end my turn right now. Because it's trying to feed them with cattle, and I don't have any cattle. The funny thing is, as long as I don't put this right on the slider, or right on the edge there, it's going to give them half rations, because it's still trying to feed them with cattle. So i got to put it there. And... I could double my ration. I'm going to do it. I'm going to double my ration. For more happiness. And health, in fact. Um, which will also give me happiness. So... Yeah, you can see there that they're going to be eating... 145 instead of 73 uh, and that's roughly how much they'll take each turn of course I intend my population to go up so I'll be eating a little more and a little more and a little more but uh, what else yeah I want to I want to get the happiness up there and my population up there and I'm actually gonna risk a sixth field now this is iron production, or iron mining, and this is wood cutting, and I'm going to put one guy in here, even though, okay, apparently I do have wood. Uh, I want to keep the efficiency at maximum, and uh, obviously it's only at 80% right now. Uh, it's, it's based on how many people you have, or not... Okay, I think the efficiency goes up based on how many people you have doing it. And it stays up as long as you have anyone doing it. So, you'll see that in autumn when I keep one guy in each of these places. Um, so, I think we're just about done with all of that explaining now. Uh, there's lots more stuff to explain, but I don't want to overload it all in the first uh, first turn here. I think I already mentioned that's a merchant. Uh, yeah, they move around, so sometimes you won't be able to buy anything. As long as there's one in, uh, within your borders, you can buy stuff from them, though. And I have already lost crops. Storms, many crops lost. Good fertility, that has to do with the farming aspect. Um, I don't think I'll explain too much of that right now. Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I just hope it, hope it does better. If it goes really bad, I could actually have people starving because of it. Because I put all my eggs in one basket there. So, it may not be the best idea to do that, but I'm doing it anyway. And next turn... Well, yeah, let's just move on. Should I? Oh, I don't have any crowns to spend anyway. Cloudy, little effect. Okay, uh, I explained this one. This is woodcutting, obviously. And this is building weapons at the blacksmith. See, efficiency is now 100%. Uh, did I... Yeah, I mentioned that sometimes the frame rate goes down to 1. There's not much I can do about that. It's not because this game is using up all my resources, this game that was released in 1996 for the Windows 95 operating system. Yeah. I don't know what, what's causing it to go down to 1 frame rate, but... Uh, that's what it does.